I basically, uh, the, the steers get weaned in July. We're, we calve in December, we, we wean in July. They're in the feedlot till uh, January is when we start selling locally. Um, we, uh, to go into a, our butcher shop, we have to have them sold as they go in. So I have to do the selling of it, which it started out as selling to some of my classmates and I would get a quarter into them a year. And then they liked the product, they liked the hamburger, they liked everything. And we have some families taking two beef a year now. And we try to stay just a, a tick above the, of the uh, market. So we get just a little premium for, for bringing them in, but they're getting a young, Young calf, no hormones, uh, no complaints so far, like I said. Yeah, this year we, we've started delivering outside of the state. Uh, we, two weeks ago we took a quarter of beef into Texas, to Austin, Texas, to a classmate of mine. Uh, I got some to go to Colorado here next week and had a, a classmate's brother come from Kentucky to get a, a half of beef. So. It's been kind of interesting to see how it grows. So, I really haven't advertised either. That's the thing of it. It's all been word of mouth. So, I think um, when he's getting 1,300 pound animals at 13 months old, you know, he's doing a really good job at developing those and feeding them to get them there. I know there's some feeders in the area that can't believe he's doing this, especially with no hormones. So I think it's a good testament to the breeding and to Robert's extra work on getting them there.